The NFL Senior Representative Squad have begun training ahead of the AFL Vic Metro Championships. Head coach Jason Hitley caught up with Samuel Zito to preview the match against the VAFA on March 28. So NFL representative coach Jason Heatley. Jason, I guess first off, well done on your appointment once again. It's an exciting time with taking on the VAFA for the number one ranking in, in metropolitan Melbourne football. It's a, it's a big occasion for our, for our boys. Yeah, it certainly is, Sam. And look, it's good to be back and getting a taste of footy again. And, you know, just watching the guys warm up now, they're all in terrific condition and all really keen to put on a good show for us. And we've been fortunate again that, I guess, the response from the boys has been fantastic. We've got... You know, most players that we want selected are in the side. Obviously, there's a few omissions purely because of uh, unavailability, but you must be wrapped with the side. Obviously, it's an extended side at the moment, but what you've been able to assemble at the moment. Look, we've had no problems, you know, having players involved. I mean, obviously, throughout this course of the year, there's injuries, guys are away, so we understand and expect that, but we've got no doubt that the 24 that we put out game day will be ultra-competitive against a good side. And I guess it's so exciting when you look at our list and, and you see the best players playing, but some guys last year who really elevated, I guess, their reputation outside of our league, players like, you know, Jesse Donaldson, a young gun from our league, Matthew Dennis, uh, the list goes on, but how exciting is it to see those boys committing again and showing that last year really was a great success that they're back here 12 months later? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, even a young guy like Tommy Rogers, I mean, he, he excelled on the day and it's all part of his development and growth. And, you know, we've got great experience around these guys with people like Gary Moorcroft and, you know, Shane Harvey's jumping out of his skin to play. So we're going to be pretty dangerous. The VAF has obviously got such a, uh, a, a big reputation in, in representative football of... Uh, They've obviously played every year, and last year they, they cleaned up the EFL. It's a big challenge for us now, but, but one you must be really looking forward to, and we do have that underdog status. Yeah, well, look, they've been the yardstick for rep football for a long time. I mean, it's in, built in their culture, and, I mean, that's something that our league needs to aspire to. We totally understand where we're at, so we want to be able to tap into that rich tradition that they've got, but also show them that we're out there to play a real good brand of footy. Working alongside last year's grand final coaches in Robert Hyde and uh, also Craig Hunter. For you, obviously not coaching this year as a club per se, but what do you get out of experience to, to I guess, work alongside the best coaches in the league? Well, look, obviously you just learn from them. I mean, footy's always about developing yourself, and we've got Christian Brand over there as well. So the wealth of experience and knowledge that we've got available to us for myself to be able to tap into that is immense. But for these guys to see way the, the way that other clubs and other sides do it, and you only have to look at how Greensboro and Heidelberg were prepared last year, was outstanding. And uh, one last one, just the, the training, I guess, regime itself. We're into the second week now. Uh, what's the preparation like to get the boys prepared for, for that game on March 28 at Icon Park? Yeah, a little bit more of game style type movement. Last week we really just broke them in and got to know each other. But tonight we'll run around and, and get, you know, get players' movements in check. And next week we'll have a bit of a theory session and also really start getting into to game style that we want to take in. And, you know, with that comes narrowing our squad down too, which is a bloody tough job, mate. You just imagine plenty of uh, great names in there. It's pretty hard to wilt it down to, to 24. But uh, thanks for your time, Jason. And, of course, best of luck, uh, I guess, in the preparation. And then, of course, on, on the big day itself. Pleasure, mate.